Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. As you can see, that's a 172nd scale kit, it's a Fairy Barracuda MK2. As you can see, this edition is called as a Pacific Fleet. And now we have a chance to check it closer in our video. As usual, uh, let me remind you that we are still gathering money for the new camera. You can help us too by pressing the donate button on our website. It is easy, it is done via PayPal, so it should be safe as well. And of course you choose the amount you will send us. As for the kit, uh, that's a... Uh, I mean, some of you might already know Barracuda kit from Special Hobby because as far as I remember it was released before. This time we have this new, it's written here, limited edition. Of course it is made in Czech Republic. And here we have some safety advices. Here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big box. Uh, of course it's a top loading box, here you can see that it's top opening. On the top we have assembly manual, inside we have all sprues packed together into one plastic bag. But first let's check assembly manual, here it is. Now typical layout for special hobby, so we have short history note on the first page. Then of course we have parts map, note that really few parts won't be used. And here we have some resin accessories for Barracuda. Of course they are made by CMK. Here you can see assembly process first steps of the assembly process, of course it starts with cockpit, then we continue with switch halves, wing parts, then there are wings attachments to the switch, landing gear, torpedo, and also here we have diagram for the bomb rack. Next we have, as far as I can guess, these are final steps, then we just attach uh, propeller and canopy and we are done. Here we have marking options. Marking guide is printed in color. Here you can see first one, here is the second, third and then we have fourth one. So in total there are four marking options for this kit. Next we have, as you remember, one and only plastic bag with all plastic sprues. Just give me a second to open it and we'll check everything closer. Okay, first I would like to start with decal sheet, which is packed into the separate plastic bag in order to avoid any possible damage during transportation. So it's good that manufacturer decided to pack it like this. And as far as I can see, those decals surprisingly are printed by Edward. You will see it in a second. Here they are, here you can see the decals are printed by Edward. But overall printing quality is really nice, I mean we all know that Edward decals are pretty good. I can zoom in so that you can see the stencils, they look really good. And here you can see some of the symbols, which are also nice. And as you can see they are not that big because it's 172nd scale kit, so I mean it's really good quality to have in this model. Next we have another plastic bag, this time it is um, dedicated to transparent parts. Just give me a second to open it and I will show them to you. Of course the biggest part here is the canopy part, as you can see it is placed in the separate sector. It is attached only on one attachment point, it's quite surprising I would say. Here we can see some other minor elements and note that masks are not included here so you will have to cut them by yourself or maybe search for aftermarket set. I think Edward had one. Next we have first grey plastic sprue. I will zoom out so that you can see whole layout. Here we have two large fuselage halves. Both are molded together with tail section and even rudder is in place. Um, external detailing looks good I would say for 170 second scale. As you can see we have recessed panel lines and Overall, there are no problems at all. Attachment points are thin enough. Here we can see some of the external parts as well as cockpit elements. These are pilot seats. Here we have air intake radiator. And they look quite nice. Let's flip it over. Here you can see physical half from the another side. Uh, these are position pin slot as far as you can see. We also have some minor cockpit detailing interior detailing so with careful assembly you'll get a nice 
result. And of course those pins should be helpful to get a proper fitment between those parts. Next we have another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to minor elements. As you can see here we have halves for the torpedo which should be assembled out of two parts of course. Then we have here landing gear wheels. I don't remember, no there are not one piece parts so you will have to combine them. And as you can see we have here special position pins which will help you uh, with placement, with proper placement of those parts. And the same can be said about torpedoes. I will zoom in so that you can see these bombs and torpedoes closer. And from another side they look like this. Really nice molding quality but of course you can replace them with resin parts. Here you can see antennas by the way. And once again do not hurry with these thin, small parts. By the way, note the attachment point for the propeller blades. They are molded separately and there I mean, there are two attachment points. One is placed on the edge of this propeller blade, so be extra careful or you will damage the part. And last grey plastic sprue is this one, which is dedicated to wing parts. Also here we have the... I am not sure what is this. I guess these are separate toe wings or flaps or ailerons. And as you can see, parts division is quite typical, I would say, so we, each wing should be assembled out of two halves. And just give me a second. Now zoom in so that you can see them closer. Here you can see external detailing. Flaps and ailerons are molded in. And here you can see another side. And here we have tail wings. They look really nice and I think for 170 second scale detailing is really good. And then here we have separate plastic bag with more, with several more clear parts. Here you can see them. There are just two square parts. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to write your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.